Alright, today's ingredients will be brown rice, some vanilla protein powder, some coconut shavings with raisins, some fat-free evaporated milk and condensed milk, and some cinnamon sticks, powder, and some whole cloves. And with these ingredients combined, we can make ourselves some high-protein rice pudding. And you want to do is just get some rice and... Uh, let it soak overnight. This is especially important with brown rice, being that it takes so long to cook. This will make it easier to cook the day after. The day after, you take the rice out, rinse it out, pour it into a strainer, and just wash it with some cold water. Um, thoroughly wash it. You know, make sure you get any... And just make sure the shit is washed. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Alright, after you wash the rice, uh, put it back into the pot, put it on a stove, and you're going to put it at a medium heat. Alright, and you're going to want to pour some milk over it. The amount of milk uh, is really irrelevant, just make sure that it covers the rice. Um, and just let it cook. It's going to be cooking for quite a while. It's going to soak up the milk little by little as it cooks. So, you know, you just want to make sure you're keeping an eye on it to add more milk or water if you want to. All right. And now that that rice is cooking, we're going to, on a separate pot or kettle or whatever, you're going to pour in the evaporated milk and you're going to Put in the cinnamon sticks and the whole cloves. And the reason I do this is because I don't like to actually put the cinnamon sticks and the cloves into the other pot itself. I don't know if you guys have ever bitten and like took a bite out of a clove. It just, I don't like the taste that it leaves in the mouth. It, it gives it a great aroma and a great taste, but this way we could just filter it out. And keep the taste without actually having the cloves and the cinnamon sticks in there. As you see, the rice is already evaporating. So I added some water. Uh, you don't want to let it get dry. That's a no-no. And you also want to make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't stick to the bottom. And once it starts to stick, the next step is for it to start to burn. And you don't want to have a burnt taste to it. Alright. Now... You see the rice is looking like it's starting to cook. It's almost done. Uh, this should take you no more than an hour and a half to do everything. If that, the rice will cook faster since you let it soak overnight. Now what I'm going to do is turn this off, let it cool off, and I'm going to use my shaker cup to strain the evaporated milk to make sure that no, no cloves fall into the to the to the milk itself into the mixture all right as you see there's still some steam so i'm just gonna keep letting it cool off for a while while the rice cooks um, another reason why i'm using the shaker cup is because i could just add my protein powder straight in here after it cools off of course and i could just shake it up and have it already mixed now the amount of protein it's completely up to you. I went with three scoops, which is a serving and a half of my protein. That's approximately um, 40, almost 40 grams of protein right there. I went ahead and shaked it up and just put it aside until the rice is, is done, until I want it. The consistency that I want, which is around this, when it's just almost dry, but as you see, there's still a little bit of liquid left. When you see the rice like this, and it's already cooked and it's soft. You want to put your protein shake, whatever you want to call it, put it in there. Put the temperature to low. And you're going to leave it on low for 15 minutes. You also want to put in everything else at this point in time, which is your coconut shavings. 
I went and I eyed it, but I would say I put around about a half a cup, maybe just underneath a half a cup. And you're also going to add the condensed milk at this point in time. And make sure you stir everything in. Now, if you're not familiar with condensed milk, it's really sweet. So if you are cutting or dieting hard, man, this this might not be for you. But um, it is fat-free, the evaporated milk and the condensed milk. So whatever. And also you want to add your raisins in right about now as well. Making sure you stir for the next 15 minutes while it's on low. Make sure you stir a lot. All right, like I said earlier, we don't want it to start to stick to the bottom. All right, and that's it. After the 15 minutes is up, turn it off and serve. You could eat it hot. You could eat it cold. It doesn't really matter. Add some cinnamon powder on top, and you're ready to go. All right, so that's it. It's nothing to it. This is some high-protein rice pudding. It's banging. We Spanish people call it a rosco en leche. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Y'all hold it down.